In today's video, I'll show you how a piece of mesh can double as a mosaic substrate. We'll prep the mesh, tile it, and grout, all without a hard substrate. Plus, learn why you would want to make your next mosaic this way. Let's get to it. Welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects, all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. Recently in a Q&A video here on the channel, I answered a viewer question who asked if you could mosaic on mesh and grout it before you installed it onto its final substrate? And the answer is yes, you absolutely can do that. Now in that Q&A video, I gave a brief explanation of what needed to be done in order to achieve this. However, some of you wanted to see the step-by-step -step tutorial. So in today's video, I'll show you how to prep, tile, grout, and finish off a mesh mosaic. I should note that this is a small three inch by six inch mosaic. This is not a technique that I would use on a large mural mosaic. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. For today's project, I'll be using a non-adhesive mesh. If you aren't familiar with mesh in mosaic, I have done a video here on the channel all about using mesh in your mosaic work and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out. The first thing you want to do is tape down some plastic to your work table. This will allow you to tile with whatever adhesive you like as well as do your grouting and your mosaic won't stick to your table. So I taped down plastic with painter's tape to my work table, and actually it's taped to the heavy mailing paper or banner paper that I always have on my work table to protect the surface. Next, I cut a piece of non-adhesive mosaic mesh to a size larger than the actual live area of my mosaic. and I taped that to the plastic. Now, if you want the substrate to be seen and act as part of your overall mosaic design, then you would cut your mesh to the desired shape and size, and then cover it with a skim coat of thin set and let it dry before you start a tiling. Now, you can also use longer pieces of the painter's tape and attach your mesh directly to your work table. But because I'm making a small mosaic, it was fine just taping it to the plastic and it wasn't going to go anywhere. So next I got started picking out my tesserae to get a feel for color, size, and thickness. I drew an outline of the live area for my mosaic directly onto the mesh. Now tiling on mesh can be a little tricky when you have tesserae that is clear or transparent like some of the pieces here. I don't want the mesh to show through them once they're adhered to the mesh and final substrate. In other words, I can't use an adhesive like weld bond. Instead, I need to use something like white thin set mortar or tile adhesive, which is also called mastic or white epoxy sculpt would also work great. Now, if you aren't working with clear or transparent tesserae and your mosaic will be displayed indoors, then an adhesive like Weld Bond would work just fine with the mesh. Keep in mind, all of your tesserae would need to be about the same thickness if you wanted your tiled surface to be at the same level. So for this mosaic, because I have a wide variety of tesserae thicknesses, plus the clear and transparent glass, I decided on white thin set mortar as my adhesive and got to work tiling on the mesh. If you aren't familiar how to tile a mosaic using a variety of thicknesses of tesserae, 
I recently did a video here on the channel all about the subject and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out. As you tile, you just adhere your pieces to the mesh as if it's a solid substrate. What eventually happens is the adhesive on the back of your tesserae meets up and joins the adhesive of other tesserae and it creates a solid adhesive layer that adheres to the mesh. I tried to keep the thinset mortar inside the live area, but I didn't sweat it if some got outside of the live area. And the reason I'm trying to be careful is because I'll eventually be cutting away the mesh once it's grouted and however I decide I'm going to use this mosaic. So once I was done tiling, I let it sit and cure for at least 24 hours before I proceeded with the grouting. Okay, the mesh mosaic has been sitting here at least 24 hours and is ready to be grouted. I mixed up a small batch of white grout since it isn't a very big or very thick mosaic. You could always use thin set mortar as your grout if you'd like a more substantial material between your tesserae. If you aren't familiar how to mix up thin set mortar or grout, or maybe you're interested in tinting or coloring them, I've done a series of videos here on the channel all about the subject, and I will include a link to the playlist down below in the description so you can check it out. I kept the grout to a minimum and didn't put a huge spoonful on the mosaic since I'm trying to keep it contained to the tile surface. So I grouted like usual, going in a clockwise counterclockwise motion, pushing the grout into the grout line. Once I was done grouting the front of the mosaic, I ran my fingers with a little bit of grout along the edge to finish it off. Then I let the mosaic sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to dry a bit before I cleaned it off. Okay, the mosaic has been sitting here and is ready to be cleaned. I'm using dry paper towels to remove the excess grout. I'll remove the grout in the same way I put it on, going in a clockwise, counterclockwise motion. I'm being careful not to be too rigorous with cleaning off the grout, so it is taking a little longer than usual, only because I'm trying to be gentle with it. Once I was done cleaning off the front of the mosaic, I ran a paper towel along the edge to also clean that up. And once all of the cleaning was complete, I let it sit and fully cure for at least 24 hours. The next step in all of this is removing the grouted mosaic from the piece of plastic. So I carefully pulled off the painter's tape first. And then I gently lifted the mesh mosaic off of the plastic. You want to be careful not to bend, curve, or curl your mesh mosaic at this point. My mosaic, for example, is rather thin, so it would be easy to crack the grout during this process than, let's say, a thicker mosaic that used thin set mortar as the grout. So you'll see it releases from the plastic very easily. And then I gently brushed off the dried pieces of thin set adhesive and grout along the edges of the mosaic. It flecks off pretty easily from the mesh. Then I ran an old paintbrush over it in order to get rid of most of the grout dust. And lastly, I cut down the mesh to a more convenient size. Now, 
Now you may be sitting there wondering, why would you create a mosaic on mesh and then grout it? Well, I'll tell you for a few reasons. You might be making a mosaic that needs to be shipped off somewhere and one of the requirements is that it's pre-grouted. Or perhaps you're making a mosaic that's gonna go in a hard to reach area and it just makes more sense to do all of that work ahead of time and then install it already complete. Maybe you're working on a multicolor grout project and it just makes it easier for you if you do all of that work ahead of time. Or one other idea, you could frame a mesh mosaic as is by adhering it to mat board inside of a frame. I'll include a list down below in the description for all of the substrates, materials, tools, adhesive, and grout that I used in today's video in case you'd like to experiment with a mesh mosaic as well. Question of the day, let me know down in the comments if you have ever tiled a mesh mosaic and grouted it before it was installed to its final substrate. I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. I need to hustle, hustle, hustle. A piece of mesh can be used. Oops, no, start over. Oh, my mom's here. One moment, please. Will we finish this video before I need to go pick up my child from school? Let's see. I don't know. Oh, why can't I say this? Why can't I say this? It's exactly three o'clock. That's when I need to leave to go pick up Owen. Yes, we did it. You and I, we did it. Woohoo! Okay, we're done. If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya.